doing? I'm all Party. You got something to say. Now, how many times do I gotta prove these niggas wrong? And how many times I gotta show these bitches I ain't so? How many shows I gotta sell out before I get the course? Why they really turn the front like I ain't hit the choice? Oh, they were doing deals from left to right. But I ain't giving in until they get the numbers right. All these people think that this shit happen overnight. All that flexing they be doing shit is all I have. Well, I've, I think I've always wanted to come to the University of Lagos um, for the kind of people that I had met that went through Unilag. So I felt like they were quality people, let me put it that way. They had a kind of charisma, they had a kind of grace, they had, they were the kind of people I would just like to be like, right? So, so I think that gave me that impact just to see like, you know what, I think that is the place I should go as well. That's I came into year one when my classmates were now in year three. Nice. So, you know, <laughs> the same department, you know, the same friends and all that. In fact, I think I was doing tutorials and teaching my friends in year three while I was in year one. Because we've been friends since, you know, while we were in diploma uh, in 2006, I think, yeah. Okay, that's really touching story, I guess. <laughs> Generally, I think I don't wait for you. I mean, I don't wait for uh, the test books or the test. Once I get a hold of the outline, I try to develop like a reading material and all that. <laughs> That's okay. I, my first GPA. As I said, I can't remember, but it was not a fantastic. GPA. Uh, but were you on first class or second class? I don't class? think so. I think I was like on a four point my first GPA. No, you know, but it was not four point five. I, not like I originally set out to be the best graduating student because eventually I graduated as the best graduating student from my set. But I was not really that was not really my intention. I just wanted to I just had this habit of whatever I'm doing, I, I yes, do it yes, as yes. best as I can. I was doing like a whole lot. But in the midst of all that, there is a primary reason why I'm here, right? Well, how did you like cope with all these things? Academic, social lifestyle and stuff like that. How did you interwind everything? So the thing is understanding the principle of priority. Mm -hmm. Why am I in the university? So I go to the, we have, the, I think you still have the uh, Mascom Fellowship. Communicators yes. for Christ. Yes, yes, so I would go to the CFC at the beginning and at the end of every semester. During the Muslim, uh, this thing, I joined in some of the Muslim uh, activities as well and all that. The major thing is, I always remember that the only reason I can go to club, uh, be the chairman of my area, be the course chef, is because I am a student. So that studentship is at the fore, at the front of everything I'm doing. I don't lose sight of that. So when anything wants to affect the studentship, I cut off that thing. There is a reason you are here. Yeah. And so you must not lose sight of why you are here. That is the most critical thing. Exactly. Thank you for that. The mask come up. Of there it was like a, a, a suicide. <laughs> it's it's it seems we actually enjoying that. I mean, it was crazy. Uh, then we didn't have the kind of relationship uh, we have with lecturers now, and then we didn't have uh, opportunity to explore the industry as much as you guys do now. You know, so you know now I'm, yeah, you know, I'm shooting, I'm doing a Netflix production, and I'm bringing my students in year one, year two, I'm doing an advert and I'm bringing, we didn't have that kind of opportunity. But it was still a good time. We learned principles, we learned, we, we learned a lot of things that still went ahead to shape us. Thank and then we did a lot of writing in the wow. exams. Wow, we, like we that never had year anything. one, year there was two, nothing more to go choice when we were in school. Yeah. We enjoyed it. There was nothing like that. Okay, my final question would be, um, 
does graduating as the best student influence your success in life? Like as of now, does it mm. have any play, any role it's played? In yeah, well, uh, I think uh, it offered me this job to start with. It was uh, offered to the two best graduating students. Okay. They started actually in the set I graduated with. You know, and I started working with Lagos State even while I was in school. Immediately I did my IT. I got the opportunity, uh, my boss asked me to stay on. So throughout my year four, I was working and all that. And uh, I remember my boss actually coming just to give me, congratulate me when I graduated. And that congratulation came with uh, about a thousand dollars then. Yeah. That's from my boss. <laughs> <laughs> which, That's is, which, is not, which is not bad for a fresh graduate. I mean, and then I got where I had advertising. Uh, uh, prize as well. I think about a hundred thousand. I got uh, a Kifale prize. I got the HODs prize. I got. I no, technically no. got all my school fee back. <laughs> you know, but you know, but beyond that, anyway. I think uh, that while that could have gotten me the job, it's not what has kept me on the job. Is I've been able to skill up over time. I've been able to learn unlearn and relearn over time so sometimes you can have good grade you can have first class and you don't have the competence to keep the job so your first class may get you the job but it's your skill that will keep you on the job okay it has been a fun time it's you mr sam i really appreciate your time the time you've given us well. so because i know if many of us watch this you you know it's when you post like this this spray to to work out on this on themselves here yeah. so i think that's all so mr sam we like to take a picture with you. how you doing i'm all right